Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got a really nice large gift bag to share in the shape of a Christmas tree. So I've done a contemporary style, so just this nice triangle here, and then I've sloped off the sides of the top of the bag, and then the star is the fastening. So there's a Velcro dot underneath there, and it opens up to a very roomy gift bag. So this one measures 12 by four, and it also folds completely flat. And then what I've done to decorate is, this paper is from the Jolly Holidays first edition paper pack, really nice with the candy canes there and I've just made that matching gift tag all ready to go and then I've just cut with my one inch square punch one two three four five six squares and then just made little strips and stuck them on in the same colour to make little presents so it's got a real simple contemporary feel about it but I still think it looks really fun and once your gift's inside you've got tissue paper or whatever I just think that's going to look so nice underneath the tree and I'm always a traditional red, green, silver, or red, green and gold kind of kind of girl. So that is what we're going to make. Very straightforward. I use my recycled handles, although I've got some nice silver ones for the next one. So let me just bring all this over here. Okay. So yeah, look at these. I um, brought my Christmas Yankee candle and this was the handles on the Yankee candle um, paper bag. So... <laughs> I was, when the guy put it in the bag over the counter, I was more excited about these than it was the candle in the end because I just thought, oh, they're going to look so nice. And they do. I think they're going to look lovely with that silver and everything. Anyway, so that's what I do. Try and recycle them where I can. Okay, so that's all the decoration bits which we'll talk through at the end. And then these are your main pieces. So, you know, choose whatever colours you want. And I've got these two really nice red um, 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock. So you need two. And then you'll also need two pieces of five by ten. Okay, so first of all, with our large 12 by 12 cardstock here, really easy scoring. So if you're using a uh, patterned cardstock, just need to make sure which way I scored this. So if you're using, yeah, if you're using anything with a pattern that's got a direction on it, have it up this way and then rotate it that way. Okay, so what we're going to score now is our baseline. So what you want to do is score at four. Okay, now if you want it to fold flat, what you then want to do is flip it and score at six. Okay, if you don't want it to fold flat, you don't need to do that score line. That's it there. And then on your other one, again, if this is the, all your, oh, what was that? Oh, just drop something. Anyway, if this is the way your the direction of your paper is, then turn it that way and then again score at four because that's your baseline. And this will be your front because you don't need to do that extra line. That, that line on that other piece is just to fold it flat. Okay, so that's just the main scoring with the scoreboard for those two. There's a little bit more scoring we have to do in a minute. Then on the two pieces here that you've got of your five by ten, along the five inch side, you want to score at half an inch and four and a half then rotate it and score at four okay now if you want it to fold flat you know again you want to score at six that's only if you want it to score flat and um, fold flat do that on both pieces even that six inch one okay um again if it's folding flat if it's not folding flat you're just scoring both these pieces at four okay then rotate it back again and you're then going to score at two and a half just down to that first score line. Okay, so again, those of you that have done this loads of times, because it's just how I make my, my gift bag, so you'll be very familiar with the process. So you need to do that on both pieces. Okay, uh, that's all the scoring. Get rid of the scoreboard, and then grab your metal ruler, keep your stylus, and whilst I've got these pieces here, we will work with them. So I've already cut this one down, and you can see there I've scored these triangle score lines okay and that is what we're going to be scoring okay so you'll have your base your larger square here in fact if i burnish let's burnish the score lines because it doesn't make any difference to the bit that we've got to do next and then you'll be able to see what i'm doing a bit more okay i'm just gonna pinch in that one there again you only need to do this bit if you're folding flat if it's not folding flat just fast forward so what we're going to be doing now is there's our base, okay, that, that larger 4x4 four four piece on the bottom. Then you'll have this rectangle and then you'll have that score line that we scored just down to that first one. It's that rectangle there that you want to score from there 
and then there, which is creating that there. Again, I will have a template on my blog because I think a lot of you do like that. So you can just revert to that just so you know exactly where you are. But you're just scoring within that rectangle. So from the bottom of that middle score line down to the left and right of the rectangle. Don't go off into your half inch tabs. So now if I just kind of work them over, you can see now what I've done. So there's the base and there's those triangles just to the corners there. See, I've not gone into this. But again, just look at the templates, all right? Then we can do a little bit of cutting. So I'm just gonna grab my scissors. And so the base, the four by four, you're not cutting in any of this here, not yet. And you just wanna cut up to that first score line. And again, like so. And then just snip them both away. Like that. And then just take a little wedge off of that one and that one and then also all of these four corners so and hopefully now you can see a bit more what we've just done there so where those triangles where that triangle shape is it's just within that rectangle there and then you'll have that score line through the middle and these two are your tabs so when you fold that in that's the side that's going to be hidden in the base. That is the side of the gift bag. Okay, so you want to do that on both pieces so you'll have two like this. Then we just need to do some scoring. Well, actually, no, it's not scoring. We just need to do a pencil mark. So let me get rid of that and grab a pencil. And then with your main cardstock here, so um, you're going to do this on both pieces. So I'm just going to keep this piece here. So you've got that score line that we've done. That's the four inch score line we've done on the bottom. So keep it facing you. Your paper should be in the right direction now if it's got any pattern on it. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do these lines here. See, I did score them, but they're actually gonna be cut lines. But we're gonna create this, which is gonna give us that shape, just where I've cut down here, okay? So I think it was two inches. Let me just check. Yeah, so there's my score line at the bottom. I'm now just gonna turn it on the side and with my ruler, I'm just going to pop a pencil mark at two inches. Okay, just there. And then I'm going to go to the top here. And again, just put a little pencil mark at two inches. So from the score line, that should be six inches. So six inches up, if I just burnish my score line. Yeah, because that's the base. You're going to come up six inches and put a pencil mark or come down two inches. Okay, then along the top, so again I've got my score line everything facing me now, you want to come in at five inches and put a pencil mark and again five inches put a pencil mark. Then you just want to join up those dots. Now if you want you can just do this on one piece and then just trace this piece on your other piece. Okay, So that's that there, which is what I think I'll do, I'll fold that right over. And then just very carefully, I'm actually just going to cut slightly under so I don't have to rub any of that pencil out. Okay, like so. And then with my other piece, so I'm just going to bring that in. Like so. And I'm just going to cut straight along. Actually, no, because it is going to move. So I'm just going to grab my pencil and just trace. Like so. That one over there and just cut this one again okay so you will now have two pieces like this one will have well they both have the four inch score line but one should have the six inch as well if you're having them to fold flat and then you'll have these two pieces here as well okay so with the front piece I have cut this triangle here just a big Christmas tree that's what the effect I wanted and this is the paper pack the jolly holidays and it's this lovely candy cane one here okay I've just cut a piece of five by eight copy paper there just to show you all you need to do to create your triangle is along the top of the pattern it's just mark at halfway so it's five so you're going to mark at two and a half and then you just want to do a pencil line from that middle down to each corner like so okay and then just cut that out just cut those two lines and it will give you that triangle all right but again you know you can decorate any way you want but I just I liked this style so whilst this is flat I'm going to stick this piece down so it needs to be nice and flush with that score line and then this is all your base this is all going to be hidden so I'm just going to get that stuck down 
Okay, then I have already done all of these, so I've just got three and three. Oh, I've got a spare. You can have as many as you want, but basically I've just got a little, you know, kind of cluster of, of boxes, Christmas presents, just by the side of the tree there. So I'm just going to stick them down, okay, like so. And then we can start putting our sides on. So I'm going to do these two first. I've already gone and put some red tape along the tabs there, keeping the tape closest to the score line. And then this one's going to go on this side first. And you're basically lining up that four inch score line here at the bottom will line up with the four inch score line on here. So I'm just going to sit that one in and then the top will also line up. Okay, and then I'm going to go along and do this side here. So again, start from the bottom and just work your way up like so. Okay, so that's what you should have when you're face all at the bottom, flip the whole thing over and then I'm going to have to just move, come along here, take your tape off of that side, bring in your other piece here and I haven't burnished it so let's just quickly do that one and then the other score line will burnish the other way because that's going to fold, that's why we flipped it remember, so you'll fold one under and then one back because that's the way it will fold flat. And then you're going to stick it on here. So actually, let's just bring that back over. It's easier. I find it easier to do it this way up and then stick it down this way. So again, start from the bottom and all your sky, sky lines, all your score lines should marry up like so. And then the last one, we can flip the whole thing over, fold that one and fold that one and then just take the backing off the last piece. Oh, I thought I had it. There we go. And again, it should, yeah, perfectly line up. Okay. Then what you want to do, so this is the front, as always, my back one goes down first, then the two sides, so you don't see them inside, and then that one. That gives you a really nice base and a really nice inside, okay? So what I would recommend is you pop glue on the insides of these two tabs, fold that in, and then pop glue all on this piece here, and then just fold that up, like so. Okay, so you can see inside now I've got a really nice inside <laughs> then just it should already start to want to fold because of the way we've done our scoring and and everything but just push at the top of the triangles like I always say and then against that back one there and you see it just pops down and it's perfectly nice and flat really really good okay and then the last thing is now to fasten it so I've got this piece of cardstock and this measures two by five and a half then I've also got my star which is lovely, just some mirrored cardstock and I've just used two of my star dies there. Basically you want something that will sit and cover. Is that right? Where did I have it? Just make sure I've done it. Yeah, just right through the middle like so, because it's going to fold that way. Okay, so this back piece is going to stick to the back. So what you want to do first is just grab some, again I'm going to use my red tape. I'm just going to run a strip just along there along the bottom and then I'm just going to stick it just so it's hidden and the star is straight about there okay so you can just see that's on the back you can put another star now if you wanted to you know cover that a bit more I might do that off camera and then it's going to stick grab this one because I can't remember how far down I had it one and a half so Flip it over and on the bottom just come up one and a half. Keep putting my pencil down and forgetting where it is. One and a half. And again on that other side. One and a half. Just do a little pencil mark. So I know that that's where I need to put my glue. Okay, and because we've got that straight bit along the top, which is one and a half, this is two, so it will cover it. And you just want to come down, see, I'm going to use that pencil mark as my guide and just stick it down. So you can't see the pencil mark, but now that's going to come over and it's going to be curved. You don't want to bend it and then you just need to add your Velcro 
all your magnets entirely up to you but I just stuck the pair together there and bring it over and I just want to have it so the tree the star sits perfectly above the tree there we go so that's done then you need to do hole punches so it's entirely up to you where you want to do it I'm going to sandwich it together and just have a little look at this one yeah it's about there so I'm going to come in about there do that one and I reckon Terraboy always eyeball stuff. I'm gonna go there. There you go, done it. <laughs> and then grab your, your ribbon or your little twisted handles and feed it through that one first. And then there. Oh, I do like the silver. And then that one there through that. And then the back. And I did share links, somebody asked me where you can buy these, because you can buy them separately, and you can buy them on AliExpress. So, um, yeah, I will share the link again. There, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it, and then it just opens up. Let's see, you'll have everything in it there. You've got so much space. I just think that looks really, really cute, and I can't wait to fill them with presents. So, yeah, nice and easy. Just obviously, and it's good because it's using up cardstock. So, I know at Christmas time, I like to get my cardstock used so that I can then buy another fun Christmas pack the following year. So, I think now I'm going to change this. I don't like the white, although the white goes, that just looks so special and luxurious. And yeah, I think I'm going to end up changing that. But yeah, there you have it. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have, as always, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.